Hello people, today I'm going to show you how to install the tools to make Black Ops 1 zombie maps. Alright, so first of all I'm going to give some credits to all the people who made this possible. First of all we're going to give credits to Nukem as well as SC2Dev. These are the main two developers that created Game Mod and Linker Mod, the tools that made BO1 modding possible. So massive shout out to them. Second of all, we're going to give a shout out to uh, Mythical for making this brand new tool that automates the process of installing everything that you need to make this work. It used to be a massive pain in the ass, and now it's as easy as running one file. So shout out to him for doing that. And then third, we're going to give a shout out to Veal here. This is his YouTube channel um, for making the Black Ops uh, mod tools fixes which just basically adds a bunch of assets and fixes a bunch of things that were messed up with the, the tools already. Um, this is his YouTube do channel right here, and I'll also like to note that he has an entire video uh, series on how to make a Black Ops 1 um, map using the tools. Unfortunately, they're all in Russian. So if you are looking for an English tutorial on how to make maps because you've never done it before, you can basically search up any World at War tutorial on how to make Black Ops or how to make World at War maps and they will work almost identically in Black Ops 1 since they use the same tools. All right, so let's get into it. First things you need to do is install mod tools itself. To install mod tools itself, you can either download them from Steam, if you have the game legally on Steam, or you can download it for, through the links in the description if you do not have it on Steam. But I recommend just doing it through Steam. What you're going to do is you're going to come over here to Steam, you're going to click on here and tick Tools. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to find a Black Ops um, 1 mod tools. And this is what they look like once they're installed. With this, you can... Um, make patches, make a bunch of mods, but you cannot make maps because Treyarch never actually released the functionality to make maps for zombies in Pacific, only for multiplayer. But thanks to SC2Dev and Nukem, as I said before, it is now possible with Linker Mod. So I'll show you how to install that next. Here we go. We're gonna come over here to Mythical's GitHub page, again, link in the description, and then we're gonna download his um, Black Ops Mod Tool Installer .bat. So I already have it downloaded here, and what you're going to do with that is we're going to put it into your Black Ops folder. So let's move this to the side, come over here, and if you don't know where your Black Ops folder is, it is simply in C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. You come over here into your Black Ops folder. In this case, I'm going to be installing it into this folder, which is just a plain installation of Mod Tools as well as Black Ops. Um, this is what it'll look like once you install a mod tool, it'll have all these extra folders. Otherwise, your normal Black Ops folder will look like this. But we're going to be installing it into here because we already installed the mod tools. So we're simply going to drag and drop that um, dot .bat that we downloaded from GitHub, drop it in here, and we're going to run it. Alright, so double click on it, and click run. It's going to open up this command prompt and full screen it. And it's going to ask you right down here, are you using a Steam or non-Steam version? Because we've already installed um, mod tools, no matter what, even if you have it on Steam or not, we're going to type in non-Steam. So click in non-Steam, then press enter, and it's going to start downloading everything you need. Boom. So you can see up here, it's starting to download everything we need. Um, I'll be back. Fast, I'll just fast forward the video uh, back when you have to do something else. All right, now that it's done downloading everything, it'll ask you to press any key, uh, key to continue. So press any key, and it should open up uh, Black Ops by itself, and then close it at some point. So it's trying to open up Black Ops, and then you can press any key, 
And now it found the PID of Black Ops. Press any key again. It's going to try to open it up again. And you're going to just press any key once again. It's going to close it once again. And that's all you needed to do. From here, it's going to start extracting all the files from Black Ops. And this will take a good little while. But this is really important for when you're trying to map later, because you'll have all the updated files from the game. So as before, I'll be back once it's done doing this. All right, there you go. Everything's installed. And all you have to do is press any key to exit this. And you should have all these files here. Now to show you it working. All right, so now you can run a launcher. Make sure you run it as a minister. And you should have this radiant button now. So. What we're going to do is show you quickly how to create your own map, which is simple as click create map, go to zombie mode, and make sure that it's prefixed with zombie underscore then whatever your map name is. You're limited to how many characters you can do here, so generally you want to abbreviate it. So let's just call it test. You're going to click OK, and it's going to create your test map. Now you'll be able to click on here and edit. This will open Radiant, or you can just click on Radiant and then open your map. Here we go. This is going to open up Radiant. This is the tool that you use to make maps with. So it'll take a second. And then in the meantime, do, do, do zombies. Test map. Uh -uh. Yeah, normally it takes a few, maybe 30 seconds to a minute to open up Radiant for the first time. But yes, if you installed um, mod tools from Steam, you should have an icon on your desktop for opening it. You can also find the launcher here in bin. Same thing with the Radiant. 
All right, looks like it opened up. And now we're in the test map. So look at this. It creates this little small cube with some zombie spawns and some perks. And we can play this now. So um, I'm just going to quickly create this little block here, as you see. Oops. I haven't used this for a little while. Just create this structure right here just to show you that I made something. And we will save this. And then we will show you how to compile the map. All we got to do is check all these boxes. Boom, 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 boom. Specify a map or a mod folder. In this case, we use the default as zombies. And we click compile. This will take some time to do all of the steps it needs to. It may open up Black Ops a few times. And if this comes up, just click allow. Right, looks like it's done compiling. So the way you want to run your map is by simply coming over here, loading the mod that you specified, and making sure that you're hovering on the map you want to load. It'll say the map right here. Go to here, it'll go to Pentagon. We want to do test. I always like to ch check log file because it will tell you um, what the error is if you run into any errors, and click run. There we go, it's gonna launch up Black Ops. And we'll load our test map we just made. Oh yeah, that's loud. Our little thing we draw. Let's turn that way down. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, and there you go, you got a test map. Zombies will start spawning in from here, as well as there's a ground spot over there. All right, let's get the hell out of here. And that's it for the tutorial. Um, there's really nothing else to say. If you want to get better at learning how to make maps, as I said, you can find some World of War tutorials. And huge shout out to all the people that made this possible. So that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.